Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day on today's episode. And we're going to look at the younger ladies, but you know, I could have just called this episode the anger of modern women because there's going to be so many profiles that women are just so angry. And I would say to you ladies, if you know, men have hurt you this badly, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm terribly sorry, but it's not on us to deal with your stuff in your profiles. And you just constantly list this kind of things. And of course, just like always, they're going to list all kinds of things they want from men and never provide anything. Let's get, continue. We've had a bunch of new subscribers. And if you didn't know, I'm a disciple of Kevin Samuels. If you haven't seen some of the older episodes and uh, we haven't heard from him for a while. So let's hear from the Godfather. Women are starting to ask the question, why don't men approach anymore? What? Why don't men approach anymore? Uh, because you become unapproachable. You become so entitled, so rude. So you think you're better than men. You think a man needs to come out and prove something to you when it's you that needs to be proving to him that you're wife ready. Men aren't going to go out and approach you just to get shot down and get laughed at because this is what the, this is the environment. Men aren't going to, men are cost benefit calculators and they're, and far too many modern men are starting to say the juice just isn't worth the squeeze. Yeah. And the, the thing is this, again, if ladies control the bedroom fun market that, you know, you, they always know on a date, if you're going to have bedroom fun for sure, you know? Men control the relationship market, and this is where ladies get so confused. And if they want to have a relationship, if they want marriage, they have to be what men want. It's not the other way around. And so, but we're going to see these younger ladies, the ones who don't get it, just talk about all the things they want, not what they're going to provide. And of course, they we're going to see some ridiculous ones today talking about money and resources. And uh, this is vitriol, but uh, let's get into it. So, on day delusions, again, we always start with the great profile. This is the great profile of the day. And she's 28. Now, <laughs> her friend, I just realized, I actually did not even notice because I was looking at her. She's in the middle, but her friend's showing a lot of booties. So I did not necessarily <laughs> mean to have them there, but you know, whatever. Um, but she's 28, organizational behavioral uh, management, whatever that is, and uh, says about me, take me to a brewery and let's talk shit about how badly am I taking care of my plants. Ma'am, you made a little joke. I mean, that good. Yeah. No vitriol, no anger, just a little joke. And I've said it, keep it fun and flirty. Ladies and gentlemen, that's just the way to do it. No one wants to read your crap and all your list of standards and requirements. Ladies, and again, I had another you know, lady came out on the uh, comments and got real mad at me again. I am not saying women can't have standards and requirements. I'm saying these be realistic based on who you are and where you are in life. Just like you know, men want fit, feminine, friendly women. Like we value youth and beauty. Women value men's resources that they're attractive as well. So if you're, you know, they just like I've said on the channel many times, 500 pound women still unbelievably get bedroom fun. Those guys don't. And so, you know, since we, humans value connection, it's unrealistic when you're not anything a man would want to have all these lists of demands and requirements and, you know, keep them in your head. Anyway, continue. So again, you know, here's a nice little selfie here. You know, and she's she's fit and attractive. Again, she says, says the same thing here. And uh, just her pictures actually tell a great story. And that's what I want to talk about uh, for, you know, ladies. And I've said this before. A picture with a thousand words. Great pictures of you is so much better than the crap that you all put in these profiles. Here's her next picture. Now she's got, I like what she did here. She has some pictures with with makeup on, some without makeup. And men, you know, we're, we're fair. Some guys like them more, you know, more, more makeup on ladies. Some don't. She continues. And here's like, especially this big picture of the next one. So here she was with a lot of makeup. She got a little collar on. She's got her chest pushed up. I mean, just what men want, ma'am. <laughs> just absolutely. Good. She continues. Now here she is, her dog. She didn't say she had a dog or that she just shows a picture of their dog. It's perfectly fine. You know, if you're in a dogs, you know, that's obviously as you moan on the channel, it's not my cup of tea, but whatever. That's two different strokes, different folks. And she, for a final picture, I didn't carve this up. You can barely see her face here. You know, uh, just with her friend, they're having, I don't know if this is a, just a fantastic picture. She's having a good time with her friend. It's just what men want. Ma'am, you get a round of applause. <laughs> I mean, these dating apps are just to, you know, meet people. And at the end of the day, that's all we're trying to do. We're trying to meet nice people, but these ladies putting all their trauma, drama, and anger into these profiles. You're going to see it all day. Let's get in this nonsense. So she is 21 and calls herself mistress. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. 
and for some strange reason she liked my profile and the app says about me if you're interesting asking me what i want or things about me should be fun ma'am I, <laughs> I could have played wiley coyote here man did you check what you wrote here you mistress whatever don't make me wait for a text also i'm a fin dom ma'am i have this for you Found a new uh, million dollar thing for you guys. Yeah, ma'am. See, by the way, if you don't know what a fin dom, this is the ladies who get, you know, these kind of guys to give them money. Beta! And gentlemen, again, that's who's ruining the, the, the dating market. It is the Sims. Gentlemen, you we do not give resources. I don't care how attractive she is for free. And it doesn't, it's never gonna breed true desire. So I just disagree. Now, if you're rich and hot or rich and, you know, at least fairly attractive and you're sharing resources, sure. But like giving ladies resources, they're just going to leave you anyway, gen eventually, gentlemen. If they don't have true desire, you know, and Rich Cooper talks about that in his channel, they will just leave you. So, you know, I just never do this. We continue. So she is 24 and she's just a lovely, lovely lady here. And she says, she's going to yell at us the whole time. I hope you're ready. Please read bio before texting me. No Snapchat or Instagram. Don't ask. Don't come to me with no freaky shit. <laughs> <laughs> or... Here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could shut the f up. Ma'am, just because some guys have done this, you don't put it on the next men. You all live in your trauma and drama. You all live in the past. So what? So the next guy, you know, look, men get hit up for weird things too. We get asked for our resources. We get asked for things and you're going to talk about it just a second. And so tough shit, really. I do not like talking on the phone or video chat, so don't ask. Ma'am, see, a bunch of ladies do, though. See, you don't, but other, all the ladies always talk about, don't text me. It's like, it's, it's just, oh my God. <laughs> oh, good for you. Oh, she continues. I Don't be weird and ask for pictures. I don't send pictures, so don't ask. As a man, why are you broke and your main focus is sex? <laughs> See, I'm gonna take a step back. Now, I am not saying go on these apps as men and sit there and just hit up women for bedroom fun all the time. And you know, that's disrespectful and I agree. But this is where the single mom effect is. This is exactly it. And I've met women like this. They only grew up with sisters or their, and their mother and grandmother. And they did, they don't even know a lot of men as friends or even, you know, they didn't grow up with a father. So yes, ma'am, you're in your twenties. Lots of guys around your age are, have a lot of testosterone flying through them. And they're definitely looking for bedroom fun. I mean, what a shock. And also if a man is around your age, I mean, how rich could the guy be yet? And this is so ridiculous. Ma'am, are you swiping them in their forties? I bet you're not. I bet you're swiping on Chad or Tyrone around your own age. Of course he doesn't have a bunch of money yet. Just so they don't even know what, gentlemen, they don't even know what an average guy is. They have no clue. They're watching damn TikTok all the time, watching some chicken flown off to, you know, Paris or Dubai and stuff. And like, I'm going to get mine. So ridiculous. She continues. No broke boys. Ma'am, I have this for you. I'm only burning my half. All you care about is money. You know, and this is the theme of today's show. You're going to see this over and over again. Women talking about men's resources. And again, ma'am, you're not entitled to anything. I mean, you, like, you're just so rich. She continues. And I'm not exchange numbers or social media unless we have met up. And ma'am, I have this for you. The ladies who come across my channel and... and can understand what I'm, what I'm getting at here. We are not here, men are not here to listen to your crap. Just like I would say to all men who have any profiles like anything like this with all this anger and vitriol toward the opposite sex. If you feel this way about the opposite sex, get off the apps for all. The Godfather and I agree with this. You know, I'm, I'm a disciple of Kevin Sam, as I talked about. Men and women belong together and to sit here and disrespect the other gender is completely unacceptable. And I just, I, I, I might, I just gonna have to send her on her damn way. <laughs> That's why you would buy a dog and die alone. We continue. So she is 24 and she's also quite lovely. And I don't mean in the, the pretty way. She says she has her dumb pronouns says about me. Hey, I'm blah. And it, yes, it's pronounced. And she gives a pronunciation. Sure, ma'am. We got your names right up there. Got it. Badass. I know. Kidding. Okay. Made a little joke. Sure. Huge music buff. Jeeps and tattoos. Yep. You like bad boys. Got it, ma'am. Stoner. 
Talk, talk it up, man. <laughs> The taller you are, the better. <laughs> nope. Yes, yeah, sure, ma'am. Of course. We know exactly who you want. Would you follow a Chad? I wouldn't follow a Chad. Yeah, she wants tattooed up, bad boy Chad with a Jeep and tattoos, man. She got a bunch of a bunch of this, of course. <laughs> That's a red flag right there, Bev. That's a red flag right there, Bev. She continues. If you plan to ghost me after a week, fuck off. Nice. Ma'am, what the hell is this? What is wrong with you? Why would you come on here and talk to men like this? What? The, I mean, she's only 24. What has she's already lived lived through? I just, I can't understand these profiles. I really don't. I live in a certain place, but I'm vacationing another place currently, looking for the man to make me move here permanently. <laughs> I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Yeah. Now, let's be very clear. She is attractive enough. You're going to see her. She's certainly attractive enough. She will have a guy eventually take the deal. But, gentlemen, you're you're going through a bunch of red flags, really. I mean, she's so angry. She wants bad boys. She, I'm sure she's already riding the carousel. She continues. And she's, she's just so disrespectful, sticking her tongue out at us. But, again, she's skinny and attractive, you know, and so that's going to be enough for most men. As I've talked about, women get such a free pass just being skinny and attractive. You'll have some guy to take the deal. You can be just the, most, the rudest person ever, broke as fuck or whatever, and the guys will still take the deal just because you're attractive. And this is where women have a safety net that men will never, uh, never have whatsoever. Even young Chad will not usually have unless the ladies like maybe are 60s or 70s or something like that. So she continues. So here she is. You know, she's on her Jeep up here. And she says, what makes a relationship great is good communication. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Ma'am, you just told us to fuck off and now you're like, but I like great communication. Of course, it's always great communication. You men need to be better. It's this always this message from these ladies. It's always you men be better. We can be whatever we want. She continues. She then says, the quickest way to my heart is the little things. Drive safe. Let me know when you get there. Have you eaten today? This reminded me of you. Did you sleep well? Sappy shit. I guess, and ma'am, I also have this for you. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. See, ma'am, you're only swiping on bad boy Chad, and that's why you don't get all this romance crap, because he doesn't take you seriously. You know, that's they're, they're, I, I, they have tons of options. A guy around your age who's got the tattoos and the bad boy, look, because you don't know what an average guy is, you don't know what a good man is. And I get it, you probably also raised by a single mom, you've got all the red flags and stuff. I almost feel bad for her in some ways, but you know, and it, it's just ridiculous that, you know, cause there are men who would take the deal, but she, you know, she's so angry already cause she's been pumped and dumped so much by Chad. And we know he's a naughty boy, but you, and you ladies keep swiping on the wrong men. You only swipe one and a half percent of the time. There are men who are good men out there. Yes, but they don't probably have a Jeep and they don't have a bunch of tattoos and they don't give you all the tinglys and you don't swipe with them. And that's your problem, not men. You're goddamn right. We continue. So she is 21 and she's just another lovely, happy person and says, stop asking me where I work and what I do unless you pay my bills. Then how how I make my money doesn't matter. But ma'am, you're this. Dude's biggest lady I've ever seen. Ah, that's a huge bitch. And of course, you're only talking about this again. One million dollars. <throat> well, also, you know, this is this is so funny about these modern women. You have some of them who are like, I don't want you to text me. You have to call me. Then you have this other lady. You saw that earlier. She's like, don't call me. I don't like video calls or calls. I just want you to text me. This lady's like, you can't even ask me where I work, ma'am. It's just a pleasantry. I, not that doesn't mean he's looking for your money. He's looking just going, you know, I, I've absolutely, you know, opening lines sometimes. And that's the thing they, they want. It's so exciting from the beginning. Like, I'll whisk you off to the tundra of the Antarctic. We have talk, made the joke so many times. Man, tough crap. Really? She continues. If you ask me the same shit, you know, every other N word is asking me. I will block you. <laughs> oh, my God. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. This lady's 21 years old and just f so full of anger. Ladies, what the hell? I, uh, I'm gonna take a step back and, and you can argue this all you want. Women, you have th the most freedom 
the most rights you've ever had in modern history. I, these ladies, if they live back in the 1500s, they would not like it. But they sit here and just act like the, the whole world's against them when they're so protected. They 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 have the most money they ever have, the most freedom. They're all miserable. They're all angry. I I really I mean, <laughs> I just don't get it. That makes me angry. That's all they do. It's just everything makes them damn angry. I we <laughs> did you. So she's 22 and says princess treatment only. All women are queens. If she breathes, she's a fuck! Ma'am, no one owes you anything. I don't know how many times to tell you this. I, I just, I don't know why you all think that you're owed anything or that you deserve, you know, it, for example, men don't ever put king treatment only. I've never seen it. I just don't, men don't put talk like this or think like this. You ladies do though. You all think you're tens and goddesses and queens. I'm going to keep naming you for it. It's just, it's, it's just so toxic. Anyway, continue. So she is 29 and she's got her dumb pronouns and she says the head full of botanist and she's got this insane picture up here of dragging a dude along and it's just, and she says, I'm loped now. I don't know what this means. Not good with distance. I don't like driving. So if you far, good luck. <laughs> I live in a certain place, not driving 20 plus minutes to meet up with someone. I'm not submissive. I go off the amount of effort you put. Fourth. You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Man, what the hell is this? We can probably tell you're not submissive, ma'am. You're not fit, feminine, friendly whatsoever. She continues, I breed toy schnauzers. <laughs> Don't listen to her. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> Red alert. All hands to battle stations. <laughs> Just a single mom pulling a guy in her profile and then just starts lecturing us off the bat and then wants us to care about she breeds toy toy dogs. I mean, I had so much this. Oh, good for you. Who cares, ma'am? And then she's going to continue with complete garbage. I am not looking for bedroom fun. I don't want a FWB. Please don't ask. Not looking to be a unicorn or take care of a man or boy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How about new? <laughs> oh, Joy, ma'am. You just seem so fun. And then she says, I have two boys, ma'am. That's a single mom starter pack. <laughs> I, 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 I almost, you just can't make all this up. I just... I'm very blunt. I'm not going to, to tiptoe around your feelings. I will delete you after two days of no response. I don't chase. And ma'am, I have this for you. And the Grammy goes to... You can read it. Harry Styles! <laughs> I know some of you, you know, I've, I've had lots of comments that now you can only read these dating profiles in my, uh, my sarcastic voice. And I'm glad because, I mean, I, I just cannot believe anyone talks like this. I mean, I, I wouldn't even talk like this, not only on the Internet, but just I, to, to my worst enemy almost to talk like this. And it, this is how they're trying to lure men in. And it, it just the modern woman. It, it, good Lord. I, they're just so many of them. You know, we've seen the data by 2030. Half of them are going to be single and childless. And, you know, uh, Jesus, I mean, they've, they've they've got to learn to be fit, feminine, friendly or, you know, they're just they're never going to get relationships. All right, let's get the final profile. So on this note, we have one of the worst final profiles uh, we've ever seen. It's not delusional, but it is absolutely uh, just uh, almost appalling in the entitlement. Let's get into it. So she is 22 and says she's a model and says, warning, high maintenance. <laughs> How about new? Take me shopping. One million dollars. I mean, can you imagine? She's starting her profile just being so demanding, and she's not even close to being done with this crap. She says, let's travel. I'm passport ready. It's coming to me now. I see financial disaster in your future. 
teach me a skill. <sighs> My God. And I just, you're going to, this whole profile of this lady too, all she does is ask for things. And it's just, it's never what, other than being a woman and a, a skinny, it's, now I'm not saying men don't take the deal on this, but this entitlement of it is so, oh, it's just so gross. Uh, obviously, I have something special in mind for don't you worry. So, I love to eat and have a major sweet tooth. <sighs> okay, yeah. <clears throat> Great. Interested in learning golf and fish. I mean, fishing, ma'am. Two cane corsos. <laughs> oh my God, who the hell cares? Kawi Ninja, because she like, she rides a motorcycle too. Oh, sure, ma'am. All right, that, this part is fine. End goal is have a farm, a husband, and lots of cows and dogs. Okay, th th this actually, if she just started with that and this got rid of the top part, this actually wouldn't be terrible. But this, this is nowhere near she, uh, being done. She continues. She then says, we'll get along if you like spending money. One hundred billion dollars. I mean, for ma'am, why? Why do we have to spend a bunch of money on you just because you're young and attractive? I mean, now I will say this, at least she is young and attractive. We've seen the older ladies go, you know, I want this kind of stuff too. But the entitlement, you just saw this whole episode has been just entitled women, angry and asking for resources for doing absolutely nothing. None of them even said one damn thing they would do for a man. And she finishes up with this. She then says, I'm still not over anything that ever happened to me. I hold grudges. Oh, ma'am, I have this for you. Buy a dog. Die a woman. Because no man deserves to suffer you. We just aren't here to take your crap, uh, ladies. I, I don't know what to say. They're, 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 I don't know any man who's self-respecting, who would put up with this kind of stuff. And gentlemen, if you have anything like this, if women talk to you this way in the apps, you just delete the match and move on. You know, you don't need, we don't need to be you know, vengeful on them or anything like that. But like this level of disrespect has to stop. And the way this stops, we don't give women like this attention. And I get it. She's going to have plenty of this kind of dude. What the fuck are you talking about? You're a beta male. Who will still give her attention and of course i and i i'm not going to shame him for it but yeah, these, these simps man they, they really are they're destroying the, the dating market for the rest of us and uh i will end it there for today thank you again for watching another episode of dating delusions i really do appreciate all my subscribers thank you so much for doing the channel if you uh if you saw the membership thing you know go ahead and check the membership it's you know it's a great deal uh you know i can tell you all about it if you did like the content give it a like if you've not yet subscribed and uh, you've watched a couple of videos go ahead and subscribe it's free to do and i will see you on the next episode have a great day peace